I'll start with a very simple question. Do you want total body mastery? Honestly, for most, the answer will be no. They don't have, as Patrick said, and we often find that in life, when you don't have what you want, it's because you're not disciplined to go out there and get it. When you watch a Lee Weiland video, you're getting the straight truth. It might not be in the fashion people want to hear or the details people think they need. They often skip to sections they want to hear, but these are the principles I teach my own children, thousands of students, and the principles that apply to not only fitness, but to all of life. But for those yeses out there who really do want to gain total body mastery, how is it done? Or even before that, what does it look like? Could be handstands, total strength, flexibility, elite skills, fluid movement, lifelong health, moving like powerful water. The water, my friend. I'll show you the exact blueprint in this video, but for everyone it looks different, just as no two bonsai trees are alike. So what does it look like to you? For the child, focus, discipline, and confidence to do back handsprings, fly in the aerial silks, vault over an obstacle. For the teenager, growing into their strength, flexibility, skill, and self-esteem as demonstrated in advanced skills of power batics. For the adult, gaining back and athletic physique, vibrancy, mobility, and power. Lee Weiland, Pacific Rim Athletics and creator of Power Batics. And here's the blueprint, and I'm going to give you concrete illustrations through the physical training so you can even start learning things like handstands and other cool strength and movement. Six steps, all foundational to growth and development. All necessary no matter where you train, how you train, or with whom you train. The first step, sometimes painful, oftentimes fun. Every single time, absolutely necessary. And when done in the right frame of mind, absolutely exciting and inspirational. Underscore where you are. Perhaps a blank canvas. Perhaps a painting already in progress. Perhaps so many layers that the paint has become muddy and it's time to take the trowel and scrape down to the bottom and reprime. And then underscore where you wanna be. Lean body mass, handstands, muscle ups, full routines of strength, flexibility, and skill. Worst thing you can do, ready? Trying this and that and continuing to dabble. This is where fast food and consumerism has actually had a huge influence on health and fitness and led the culture astray. For most people, the first point of contact with a team of coaches is many times the quintessential moment for transformation. People like Matt went from a broken back to hand balancing. But main thing, underscore where you are and where you wanna to get to. Example, start with the painful static holds of the horse stance and frog stand, if that's where you are currently. No falls, flops, or face plants, just focus. And then in time, you'll have handstands and single leg squats. The second step, you will never get to where you wanna be if you stay in the first step, always exploring the edge of the lake but never diving in fully. Dive in, head first, fully submerged. It doesn't need to be the deep end, but it does need to be immersion. Otherwise, it's just hovering above the surface of the water like a mosquito. Think about all the other areas of life and worldview that this applies to. Have you ever tried to learn something here and there with only a few minutes each week? It probably felt just like a mosquito, annoying. Annoying that you weren't making progress. Frustrating, aggravating, you feel stuck. There just isn't enough depth to make any true, lasting, or sustainable changes. You will never achieve a handstand, human flag, routines, katas, fluid movement, or total body mastery that way. Similar to learning an instrument, a craft, or a language, or developing in any area of life. Immersion is necessary. Just like Drea, who is lighter, faster, and stronger than ever, doing things she never thought possible. Here's an example from training. Immerse yourself in learning a new compound movement skill. Not sets and reps, not another wad, but maybe something like a flare, a back limber or walkover, maybe an aerial. A lot of people mistake these as crazy acrobatic stunts when in reality, they're just a byproduct of solid training that builds core strength, flexibility, and mobility. And then boom, you're doing these kind of movements automatically and naturally. The third step, lay out the tools. You'll need a few and I'll show you exactly what they are. In the Pac Rim universe, we have coaches, doctorate physical therapists, amazing students who continue to blow our minds, and something really cool you won't want to skip the five elements of power batics. Do you know what they are by now? Handstands, ninja strength, power moves, free run, and circ. And of course, you'll want a level system. We have 10 levels in each of these. And you'll also want to start in a place of foundation work. And here's some other tools you'll need. Nutrition, basic things like water and whole foods. That's it. Don't make things more complicated than they need to be. Full body joint prep. 
strength protocols that you can tailor to your unique needs, skill acquisition, flexibility development, and then the community, both face-to-face -face and online. These are all tools, tools that you need to gain total body mastery. Really, no matter the context or country, these are the exact tools that are necessary to develop the strength and skill you want to achieve. And then we start using those tools to build the work of art. Just like Clayton, who trained from scratch doing every skill you can think of in only a few years and sustaining it. Here's an example for training. Your goal is a muscle-up. So structure your day to include that goal. Time to contact your coach, your sets and reps of the muscle-up workout. And I'm gonna give you exactly what we do here. Five rounds of dips and pull-ups. Your kata practice, which includes pushing strength development and even engagement of the pulling muscles as stabilizers. I didn't even do pull-ups when I was growing up. All hand balancing and kata training. When I went to do a muscle-up, it was pretty easy. Only a few weeks of pull-up practice and bingo because of the kata work and the lats being developed as stabilizers over the years. The fourth step, you must keep adding to the little wins and victories. It is not simply about building muscle. That will fade in a heartbeat. It is not about a six pack. You already have one, maybe hidden, but more important what's underneath, both literal and metaphorical, is it atrophy. It is not about a class or course that promises a prize and guarantees a time frame. There are millions, yes, literally millions of those. Consumerism is literally built on that framework. It is about continuing to sculpt, kneading the clay, adding sections, layers of wins stacked upon layers of victories. But this sculpture is beyond a 3D figurine. It is 4D. It moves. So we adjust, modify, and continue sculpting while also programming it with kinetics for success. And then level by level, you begin seeing that total body mastery is possible. Even right around the corner, just like Venny, who's overcome so much in life, so many surgeries and in his 50s, thousands with his strength of body and mind through his phenomenal skills. The fifth step, there will be setbacks. There will be times you hate. We even tell our students that if they ask, what if I don't like it? I guarantee you there will be times that you don't like. There will be moments when you wanna lay down and give up. We will not. We will continue striving every single day. You continue working according to a system of progressive training that makes success your only option. Just like Che, who is absolutely crushing it at almost 50, a mother, career woman, and strength ninja. The sixth step, our effort is the victory. Our determination in continuing to breathe and keep moving forward is our destination. In every moment, in every now, we will win. Take your first step now. You can schedule a free coaching session in the next day or two to talk with me and my team, or continue watching the videos that are designed to help you and which should be coming up on the screen any second. And I'll see you in the next video, or hopefully in training soon.